So you bought the cheapest Steam Deck that money can buy, and it's filling up faster than your Skyrim mods folder. And I know what you keep there. Luckily for us, Valve made it criminally easy to replace the SSD in this thing. One might think, why should I upgrade my SSD if I can just install SD cards till the end of time? Well, SD cards, they do function for booting games off of. It works great. You can take them out, swap them out, and it'll keep the games kind of assorted on them, which is pretty nice. But they do wear out faster and they are not as quick. SSDs are far faster than booting off of an SD card. And if you've only got five minutes to boot up a game while you're waiting for somebody to like come over to your house or, you know, your kid only falls asleep for five minutes, you might want to swap out, save yourself five minutes here and there, and then all of a sudden, you've saved an hour of your life. You never know when a small kid's just gonna eat your SD cards. <laughs> or your cat, or your dog. You can get SSDs that are all shapes and sizes and storage spaces, but the one you're looking out for is a 2230 form factor. The largest I've seen in that form factor is one terabyte, and I believe it is an SK Hynix BC711. Now, the BC711 also comes as a full size, like 2280, I believe. If you do end up getting one in that form factor, you can simply cut it down to size and then squeeze it into your Steam Deck. But if you buy one that is the correct form factor, it's gonna be scalped, unfortunately, and uh, them's the brakes. But you can get a 512 SSD for about $50, which is what we have in here. I got it out of a used Dell, but find your way. So before you do any kind of hardware swapping, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a SteamOS recovery image on your SD card. And if you're wondering how to do that, luckily for you, we have a video instructing exactly how to do that on the Steam Deck with no alternative PC laptops needed. And of course, before you do anything inside your Steam Deck, make sure you power it off by pressing and holding the power button for 10 seconds. Now make sure you have some kind of clean surface to work on. The surface is definitely not clean. I'm gonna go ahead and put on gloves because people love it when you do stuff with gloves. <laughs> Electrostatic. Do gloves have static on them? Now to open this bad boy up, you're gonna need a screwdriver and you wanna make sure that the screwdriver goes into the Phillips heads nice and tight. Like this has a little tiny bit of play, but you wanna make sure you have it nice and tight because if you don't, you're only gonna be engaging the like the tippy tip of the screwdriver and then you're a liability to just strip out all the screws and then not be able to get it out. <laughs> make sure your screwdriver tip is nice and tight in there. Get yourself an iFixit kit or something and well, it'll pay for itself. Another thing that you can do is put your Steam Deck in the carrying case it comes in to keep the analog sticks safe from just constantly pressing up and down. Unfortunately for us, it's really hard to see inside of that case. Once you have the eight screws in the back out, remember the long ones are on the outside edges and the short ones are in the middle. So there's four screws in the middle that are short and four screws on the outside that are long. Before you go to take this back plate off, make sure your SD card is out of it or it will be snapped in half. Like, go ahead and check it, I don't know, twice, four times, that the SD card is not inside of there or you will snap it in half. I like to start at the corners around the you know, R1, L1, L2, R, R2 buttons because they have a nice gap in them to begin with. You don't want to just randomly start in the middle. Yeah. I'm just like a mongrel. <laughs> Somebody will comment that I'm being too hard on this thing. It's okay, Valve made it nearly indestructible. Oh my God, that was so painful to watch. It come apart, didn't it? It didn't break anything. People on the internet are silly. Anyway, place that aside. Oh, take something like a credit card, or I mean, you can use your fingernail if you want to peel back this little aluminum foil here to take out this single screw up at the top. And then there's a screw up in the top corner over here, and then the bottom corner over here. And then this little metal shield, not really sure what to call it, will come off. Mm 
And there it is, the factory 64 gigabyte EEMC memory, whatever you want to call it. This thing is slow. It has a little electrostatic EMI shield on it that comes off kind of hard at first. Mine come right off because, well, I've already had it off like three times this video. But uh, just slip it on to your new SSD. Go ahead and put your screw back in for your NVMe. There it is. New drive in there. And just put it back together. <laughs> Tighten the three screws holding on the uh, metal shield here. Oh, don't drop it. Having a magnetic screwdriver makes this a lot easier, but uh, my magnetic screwdriver is not the right pitch for this. <laughs> Make sure not to leave any uh, screws inside of there. They can short and kill your Steam Deck. But uh, of course you know that, right? I know that. That's why I drop screws in there strategically when it's off. How hard is it to disconnect the battery? Um, you have to take the shield off first. <laughs> Yeah, you know you're gonna get comments like you need to disconnect the battery before you do any of that. It's like uh, you physically can. <laughs> <laughs> it's not possible. Now we got our three screws back in this little cover here. Go ahead and fold the uh, aluminum tape there back over. So it's nice and flush. Then you can go ahead and put your cover back on, or if you want to, you can fire it up like this. It's not gonna hurt anything. Make sure that it works. Or if you're confident like me, just snap it back together. Oh, get your glove stuck in there. Go ahead and put your screws back in. Remember the long boys are on the outside and the short boys are on the middle. All right, now that you have your new SSD in there, you can go ahead and pop in your recovery image SD card because you know, you removed it, right? <laughs> please, please do not snap your SD card in half by trying to take apart the deck with it in there. Go ahead and power on the device and it should, if everything is correct, boot directly into the SteamOS recovery image that we made in a, pre a previous video. Now, it's gonna take a hot minute because like I said at the beginning of the video, SD cards are kind of slow. But if you just follow the steps in the previous video, it will just reinstall and be like the deck is brand new, except now it's got way more storage. Anyway, at this point, you're probably not watching anymore because you went back to the other video to uh, make sure you installed SteamOS weird back and forth maybe we should have done it in one video nah but if you like this video if you even watched this far go ahead and leave a like get subscribed for future steam deck content we have a whole bunch of things that we're looking forward to uh doing with this fine device leave a comment on what kind of random nvme ssd you found to put inside your steam deck and like always we'll see you next time 2230 form factor 2230 form factor 2230 form factor <laughs> It's gonna be about this size, or about the size of a quarter, except square, because dimensions.